hello guys welcome to my youtube channel so today i want to show you guys how to create a custom tooltip in power bi here you can see if i hover on this sales uh, 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 over time you can see that i can see a custom tooltip showing me the profit and uh, the discount as well as the growth sales over time as well so I'm going to show you guys how to do this in Power BI real quick. So um, first and foremost, let's add a new page here and I'm going to go to the canvas settings and I'm going to change this page to a tooltip and you can see it shrink the page. So I want to align it in the middle. So I'm going to start uh, customizing it now. So first and foremost, we add a text box in it and uh, let's try to position it in the middle as well. And then after that, I'm going to add the border settings in the individual border and I want it to be blue. So once I do that, I want to add rounded corners of and, and you can see we have enabled that feature so the next thing for us to do now is to add um, the names for the profit the discount and the gross sales so i really like um i'm a fan of blank uh button so i'm going to use a blank button to do that real quick and let's go to the style and enable the text you can see it is off so we have to enable it so that when we type something in it, it's going to become visible. So now it's a, we have added profit there and we want to change the font color to blue and we want to make it bold as well. And uh, we want to come here and turn off the borders. So we come back here and use these visual borders at the general effect. So we enable these visual borders here and uh, I want to also add the color as blue and also make the rounded corners as thin and you can see we are already getting that feature little by little so all you need to do is just duplicate this and bring it down and go to the style and change this to discount let's add this as discount then i'll duplicate it again bring it down but I want it to be down here and let's add this one as um, gross sales so you can see this is not actually aligned properly so I'm just going to like select all of them and uh, go to my format here and distribute them vertically and you can see that the space between them is going to be the same next is first add this card here in order to add the sales in the process and the discount in them let's put it in the text box and uh, let's shrink it to become the same size as the size of the button so i'm just going to save myself some time and format this particular um, formatting here to this particular uh, card and here you can see that it's already taking the visual the visual borders and all of that so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to go ahead and add the profit in here so i'm using this power bi sample data set and i'm going ahead and add the profit oh that's not what i wanted i forgot to click on the um card before adding the profits that's why it appeared in the text box so you click on it first then you add the profit but you can see that the size is very big so we're going to again come to the visual to the visual uh, the format visual and let's reduce the size to let's say 12 and after that we're going to turn off the category label and that is going to appear perfectly in the middle so just the way I did for the button, I'm going to do the same thing for the border, for the card I mean. I will duplicate it and bring it down here. 
so all i need to do is click on each card and change change it to the respective um, button figure and here we need the discount and here we need the gross sales um here is it so one more thing again here is it i want everything here to be blue so i forgot to add the color as blue so let's go back here again to you know our video format video and uh, let's change the color to blue i'm just going to format the same settings to the other cards and you can see that our custom tooltip is ready so let's add this one as a uh, tooltip one let's add this one as tooltip one so let's add another page here and what i actually want to see here is uh let's say i want to see the sales of product and uh, we want to also see the profit the discount and the gross sales for this product so i'm just going to add a let me just use a clustered bar chart no let's just start bar chart and see if that is going to actually appear uh where we want it and let's add the sales in here let's format this as currency and uh, we are going to add the product and you can see we have all the sales categorized by the product and uh, now I can go ahead and add the custom video so that if I hover on it I see the sum of this I see all the custom videos there as well so um, I see all the cost the custom tool tip there as well so I'm going to click on the video and go to my general settings and go to this tooltip here and uh, select this tooltip one. You can see we have two tip two 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 tip appearing here, but it is two tip one that we want. So once I do that, uh, if I hover on it, I should be to see the profit, the discounts, and the gross sales for this particular product. And also, if I scroll down, I'm going to see the profit, the discount, and the gross sales for this product as well as this one down to the last one so this is how you can create a custom uh, tool tip in power bi um, if you like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up be sure to hit that subscribe button and also share it to your loved ones thank you for watching stay blessed